One of the best pieces of advice that I've ever heard from anyone is Eleanor Roosevelt in the 1920s, who said that you know women in politics or in public roles should grow skin like a rhinoceros. Hillary Clinton offered some of her own leadership advice to women this week at a conference in New York City. There's that old you know, saying that your critics can be your best friends if you listen to them and learn from them, but don't get dragged down uh, by them. Governor, are you ready to take the oath? I am. Her comments come as new documents reveal Clinton has held a great distrust of the media from before her time as first lady. Clinton calls the press complete hypocrites, according to diary entries from her close confidant, Diane Blair. They say they want the truth, want power to be transparent, but in fact, they prefer backstage manipulation of Barbara Bush, Nancy Reagan, Bess Truman, Rosalind Carter, Blair recounts Clinton saying. Carl Bernstein wrote a biography of Hillary Clinton. Shortly after her husband's 1992 win, Hillary received this advice about dealing with reporters from First Lady Barbara Bush. Beware of this crowd. You don't want to have anything to do with them. Uh, and if you are going to be quoted, say it loud and clear and make sure you say it damn loud that they're not to be trusted. Uh, and Hillary said to Barbara Bush, uh, I've already had some experience with that. In the White House, the Clintons squared off against the press over the firing of White House travel office employees, investigations into White House counsel Vince Foster's suicide. The list went on. The Clintons felt they were being attacked over health care, over this so-called scandal in Whitewater, and in fact, they, they really hadn't done anything wrong uh, in, White, in Whitewater, but they sure had handled it badly. And once again, this pattern of non-candor was established. Especially for Hillary Clinton, who was more guarded than her husband. In January 1995, after two years in the White House, she told her friend that she did not know how history could be written on Bill Clinton's presidency, with media reports being so wrong. Diane Blair wrote, she said there was hardly a news story that she couldn't totally refute.